friends my name is Javier and today we are going to discuss about one of the basic questions of the engineering graphics is why second angle projection and fourth angle projection system is not utilized in uh, engineering graphics why only first angle and third angle is utilized in it although okay, within a few minutes within a three minutes I am able to answer this question this is a very basic question and many of the students are not able to answer this question that's why I am sharing this uh, video with you okay so first of all the thing uh, in order to understand these things, you need to understand why uh, what is the phenomena behind the projection of point. Suppose I am taking a point at uh, 30 mm distance from the vertical plane, the vertical origin and the 20 mm distance from the uh, horizontal origin. So in order to project this view, what should be the answer? The answer must be in this case the main phenomena of the projection of point what is we need to understand is horizontal plane rotation whatever will be the projection of the point on a horizontal plane that must be rotated in a downward direction because our page is having one reference line only so what should be drawn at the above side and what should be drawn at the below side that should be known by us so in order to do that the main phenomena is the horizontal plane must be rotated in the downward direction. So whatever will be the projection of the point on the horizontal plane that must be rotated in a downward direction. It means in a horizontal plane the 30 mm distance it will indicate A double dash. A double dash means point A projection on a horizontal plane. Horizontal plane. The horizontal plane is uh, defined by the double dash. Okay and vertical plane projection is defined by the single dash. So the point A is 20 mm above in case of vertical plane. That's why it is A dash will be at the 20 mm. Okay, in the same manner, if the point is lies in a third quadrant, then the horizontal plane must move in an upward direction. So whatever will be drawn on the upward direct upward side of the reference plane, that must be horizontal plane in case of third angle projection. Okay, so what happened? The in the third angle projection, the Q point lies on a horizontal plane. The projection of the B point is at a 50 mm. So B double dash means the B double dash lies at the above side where in the case of first angle projection the horizontal plane projection is at the downward side. So here A double dash and in the third angle projection the horizontal plane projection is at the upward side. Okay and the B dash the vertical plane projection will be the downward side in case of third angle projection. This is first angle, second angle, third angle, fourth angle. This is known by everyone. Very simple. Okay, now let's come to the uh, projection of uh, elements. So in this case, I'm taking four questions and the four answer of it. Let's see the first element. I'm doing one element where observer is looking from this side. Generally, this, this phenomena is fixed. One thing is fixed. The observer direction of viewing is fixed and the horizontal plane rotation must be fixed. This is by default assumption from the engineering graphics and now observe is looking from this point this element is placed in the first quadrant so what happened the front view will be drawn here on a vertical plane and the top view will be drawn here on the uh, horizontal plane and as per the projection of point phenomena we need to rotate the horizontal plane in a downward direction it means whatever will be the top view that must be drawn at the bottom side of the plane, of the reference line. Okay. So this one will be the answer. The front view will be the, at the upward side and the top view will be the, at the downward side. Let's take third angle projection system. This one is the third angle projection system. In this case, the observer is looking from this point only. So the front view lies over the vertical plane and the top view will lies over the horizontal plane. Correct? The top view is lies over here. So from the first, you know, the assumption from the projection of point, the horizontal plane must rotate in upward direction. So in the third angle projection system, the top view will be at the upward side and the, and the uh, front view will be at the downward side. Okay. Now we are dis uh, discussing about the something interesting or which we need to know. The second angle projection system, the second angle projection system in which uh, uh, the uh, the pro product is placed in case of second quadrant. So the second quadrant, it means observer is looking from here. So the front view will be on the topward side, 
and the top view will be at the at the in, in the horizontal plane. The front view will lies over the vertical plane, and the top view will lies over horizontal plane. And as per the rule of the projection of point, that the horizontal plane must be rotated in a upward direction. So the in case of answer of this questions, what happens? Both the view, top view as well as the front view, both lies at the upward side. So it will overlap each other, and that's why it is not feasible one, or it is very complicated one. Let's discuss about the fourth angle projection system. So fourth quadrant, we are putting the product in the fourth quadrant. So what happens? The top view is lies over a horizontal plane, and the front view will lie over a vertical plane. But ultimately, from the rule of the projection of point, we need to turn down the horizontal plane in order to draw it on a simple page. So what happens? The top view and front view both come at the downward side, and that's this overlap occurs in the second quadrant and the fourth fourth quadrant. Whenever the second quadrant is used, both the views are at the above side of the top plane. And in case of fourth angle quadrant system, both the views are at the downward side. So due to this overlapping, we are not using the second angle and the fourth angle projection system. I hope this uh, question is clear in your mind. But just uh, focus on the logic here. The two things are the one thing. If you change the one parameter, if you change one parameter, don't be confused. This answer is clear. Now, if you are changing the one parameter, I am changing only the viewing direction of the observer. Now, I am thinking the observer is looking from the top towards side. If I am changing this direction, so what happens? Instead of rotating this horizontal plane, now we need to rotate this vertical plane because observer is at the top side. So our uh, our page will be in this direction, and this one will create our. Perpendicular direction to our observer side because our observer is placed here. So we need to turn the vertical plane in this direction. If you are able to understand these things, very good. Otherwise, mail me. I will give you more explanation about it. Thank you very much. Give your comments.